It was certainly the case last week when President Isaac Herzog became the first Israeli president in history to visit Albania and get a taste of our hospitality. Too late for such a historical breakthrough, but right in time when one thinks about the historical context and of the struggle the Jewish nation and Jewish state is going through nowadays, fighting not only for his right to defend itself from a new vicious form of Nazism, but also for the world we live in to not fail and not fall for easy answers in front of an existential threat to the free and democratic space we have constructed all together after the nightmare of World War II. I like to underline a detail that will make the second half of my speech much easier. Among other, Mr. Herzog laid a wreath at the Holocaust Memorial in Tirana, together with our religious leaders. Yet the real news was not that they met. It was that no one in Albania even wrote about this meeting. In a country where the heads of the Sunni Muslim majority, Bektashi, a Sufi Shia moderate order, Christian Orthodox and Catholic communities regularly meet and celebrate each other religious festivities, the President of Israel is simply as normal as not newsworthy. This unity among our religious leaders and religious communities is not a publicity stunt. It is embedded in our DNA. It reflects a religious understanding and well-being that is so special in this turbulent and confused world, a blessing we cherish. Albania has always been like this and explains also why we have been so able to enact policies of peace, dialogue, and tolerance towards our neighbors, and also the minorities within our territory who never ever suffered any type of ethnic or religious discrimination. Albania was the first country in Europe in 1932 when anti-Semitism was on the rise that recognized the right of the Jewish community to legalize Shabbat in the law. During the Holocaust, when Nazi leader Hermann Nochbayer summoned the religious and political leaders in Berlin in 1943 to demand a list of Jews and the excess on the gold in the Bank of Rome. Our representatives replied, you can have the gold, but not the Jews. And several sessions of negotiations did not change their mind. The gold is yours to take, the Jews are ours to protect. And these are all written in the minutes of the negotiations. And we continue to be the same. 